Hey friends, it's your girl Jackie here, coming at you with a brand new video. So for today, get excited, we're gonna be talking all about work-sponsored retirement plans. I know, it's so exciting. The excitement is palpable in this room right now. So if you're working and you have a job and you want to know more about the potential retirement plans that your job is offering, that's what we're talking about today. If you are not currently um, subscribed to my channel, you are gonna wanna hit that subscribe button and hopefully you enjoy this video and you can hit the like button as well. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. But I think you're gonna like it. Let's jump right in. So first off, as I alluded in the intro to this video, a work-sponsored retirement plan is specifically the types of plans that you're commonly gonna see uh, offered through your job. So you should actually be looking out for another video that I'm going to film that I'm going to upload next where we're going to be talking about non-work sponsored retirement plans. And those are the kinds that you can kind of uh, start up and contribute, make contributions on your own. This is something completely different. You have to go through your actual employer um, for these types of retirement plans. We're going to be talking about the more common ones. In terms of work-sponsored retirement plans as a whole, there tends to be two main buckets, two main categories of work-sponsored retirement plans. The first one is contribution-based retirement plans. Those are by far and wide the more common ones nowadays, and we will go into detail as to why. And then the second type is defined benefit retirement plans. And that one is a little bit more rare, and we'll talk about why in a second. Um, but those are the two types, defined contribution and defined benefit retirement plans. Those are the two categories uh, that you will find available to you through your employer. So the first one that we're going to be talking about is defined benefit. And defined benefit plans are also known or more commonly known as pension plans. This is the type of retirement plan where basically your job will determine how much it is that you get in terms of a payout after you retire based off of how many years you work there and what your salary was while you were working there. Uh, these are super rare nowadays. You will normally only find them through uh, the military offers this type of retirement plan and also like government type of organizations mostly. It is very, very rare to find a true like pension plan being offered through like a corporate company. It's just not particularly common anymore because this particular type of retirement plan, the majority of the burden in terms of coming up with the money for employees retirement falls on the employer. So for that reason, it is not as economical for companies um, and for that reason, you just won't find it anymore, unfortunately. Um, I actually worked as a school nurse uh, in Northern New Jersey for close to a decade, and that's the type of retirement plan that they have in place, obviously, because it's a school. So it's a state organization. It's a state thing, I, I don't know. It's a school plan. So I was part of the teacher's pension, even though I was a nurse. Um, I was part of the state of New Jersey teacher's pension for close to 10 years. Um, and so I have a little bit of experience with that. Basically, the way that it works here, and I know it probably is going to vary state by state, but within the state of New Jersey, once you become vested um, and you have to work there for a certain amount of years full time in order to even become vested in the first place um, here in New Jersey right now, it's 10 years. So once you have put in your 10 years and you're vested in the New Jersey teacher's pension plan, then after that, you're part of the actual pension plan indefinitely. And once you retire, you will get payout depending on how much your salary was while you were working um, and also how many years you put in. Um, so that's the way that it works here. I actually ended up getting a different job literally <laughs> like a few months short of becoming vested. Like it was like nine years and change. Um, so I never did actually become vested, but that's okay because all of the money that I ended up contributing toward my, my pension plan, I just got it back. I just rolled it over into something else. Um, so it wasn't that bad for me, but yeah, that's what a pension plan is. So again, you get your money, the majority of the burden 
for your retirement, uh, how much it is that you're going to get. Your retirement uh, payouts falls on the shoulders of your employer and you will get your money based off of how many years you put in and how much your salary was. So somebody who's earning a lot in the military, I don't know, $100,000 a year or something like that, their pension payouts are going to be higher than somebody who's earning $40,000 a year. Um, even though they both work for the same organization and they probably worked for the same amount of years before retiring. That's the way that that works. A defined contribution plan is very different and is a much more common nowadays. This is the one that everybody knows about. A very famous example that you're probably already familiar with is a 401k plan. A 401k plan is a defined contribution plan in terms of retirement. And the reason for that, the main difference between this one and the defined benefit is the defined contribution. Guess who's putting in the majority of the money for retirement? You. <laughs> you are putting in the majority of the money toward your own retirement. You are contributing. Ah, you see the word connection? Defined contribution. I'm contributing. Defined contribution. You are contributing the majority of the money toward your very own uh, retirement account. So this is not in any way, shape or form based on how long you were working there or whatever. It is literally solely based on the amount that you are contributing toward your plan. If you're putting in a very large portion of your paycheck on a yearly basis, then you're gonna have more in that account. If you're only putting in like 1% or something like that annually, you're gonna have a lot less. So it literally the amount that you get in terms of payouts when it's time for you to retire is solely based on the amount that you have been contributing toward your plan. That is the difference between a defined benefit and a defined contribution plan. So a 401k is not the only type of defined contribution retirement plan that exists. There are different types of plans. Usually they have like a number associated to it. Um, so I think of like the 403B plan and the 457 plan and the 529 plan. They're all contribution based plans, even though they have different numbers for whatever reason. 401k plan. All of these are contribution based retirement plans. Um, and so basically, even though the differences tend to vary depending on which plan it is that we're talking about, in general, the benefits are pretty much the same, which is usually there's a tax benefit to contributing toward any of these plans. So that means that we get to contribute toward our retirement and that money that we're putting into a retirement account, we are not getting taxed on right now. <laughs> That's the stipulation. The government is not taxing us on that portion of your income that you're putting away toward your retirement right now. Will you get taxed on it later? Probably. <laughs> but right now, you're not getting taxed on it. When you go to take it out after you retire, it it is part of your income. Specifically, if we're talking about a 401k, people often forget that. But right now, as you're contributing and putting it into your, your 401k plan, you're not being taxed on it. So it actually is very beneficial in that regard because it actually lowers your tax burden, right? Think about it. If I get paid a certain amount, we'll just make up a number and say I get paid $100,000 a year. I wish. Um, if I got paid $100,000 a year and I put $25,000 a year into my 401k plan, whew, I put that amount in there. The government is only going to tax me as if I was making $75,000 a year. That's how tax benefit works in terms of retirement plans. You're putting a certain portion away. The government's like, we're not gonna tax you on that amount right now. Now later, when I actually retire, they are gonna count the amount that's in there as income, unfortunately. So I will get taxed when I'm old and when I retire, but for right now, I, I'm not. So that's the tricky thing with the actual, um, contribution based based retirement plans um but yeah definitely there's a nice little tax advantage right now for you if you're making any contributions toward that um the other like major thing that i love about 401ks and i understand fully that not every single employer is going to offer this but definitely if you work at a job 
and they offer a 401k, be sure to ask. Always ask your HR department, do they offer matching? Matching is a big deal, and I will tell you why. It is basically your job giving you free money, free money, not part of your salary. This is in addition to your salary, um, just for your retirement account if you're putting a certain percentage away for retirement. So it's basically, I had used this example in a prior video, but if I sit there and say, I'm putting $6 into my bank account for retirement, my job will say, okay, cool. We're going to give you another $4 for your retirement account for free. It's literally free money. It's actually like literally free money. So definitely, if your employer offers it, always take advantage of the matching and always make sure that you're contributing towards your 401k up to the minimum that's required to get that matching. Because it isn't usually dollar for dollar. Sometimes it is, and that's amazing. Um, but not every employer is like that. As an example, my employer right now where I'm working, they give me a full 4% of my salary if, if I contribute a full 6% toward retirement. So they give me 4% of my salary toward my retirement account, my 401k account, but only if I'm contributing a full 6% into my retirement account. So guess who's putting a full 6% into her 401k? This girl, because I want that free 4%. Thank you very much. You know, the other cool thing about, um, if we're talking about specifically work-related retirement accounts, uh, you know, people sometimes get nervous and they think like, what if I stop working there? Or what if I quit and I get another job? Don't you worry about it because any money that you're contributing is going to go with you. We call that a rollover. If you're working here and you decide that you don't want to work there anymore and you switch to a different company, those funds that you had already contributed towards your retirement account, they're just going to get rolled over into a different account. Um, so you can set that up usually after you have like left your old job, you're usually going to get some sort of a letter in the mail um, from whatever organization was kind of handling the retirement funds at your old job. You're just going to get a letter and it's going to give you all the instructions. And then at that point, you can either roll it over into the account that your new job has if they have retirement stuff um, or if you wanted to just open up like your own personal IRA that's not an employer based retirement account, you can roll it over into one of those. So don't get nervous about that. Um, definitely wherever you go, those funds are going to follow you. The other benefit to these specific types, the contribution uh, specific retirement plans, like such as a 401k as an example, is usually you have more of a sense of control. If we're talking about a benefits uh, defined plan, such as a pension, you have very little control. You are not allowed to tamper with the amount that they're taking out of your check. If they're taking anything out, you can't sit there and say, hey, I don't want you to take that amount out of my check. It is automatic and you have zero say. You also do not have any say in terms of how it is that they're investing those funds. They have an actual like funds manager, I guess. I don't know what they would even call it, but there's a specific individual that is in charge of all of those pension funds and they handle all the business and make all the decisions. They're, you're not allowed to make any decisions in terms of where that money is going or how it's being invested. With a contribution-based plan, such as a 401k, you have a lot more control. Uh, basically, your job is going to give you options in terms of how much it is that you want to contribute. Um, sometimes they even have options in terms of what types of different plans they have. So we had talked before about how the 401k, uh, there's a tax benefit to it now. You don't have to pay taxes on it, but later on when you retire and you want to actually get those payments you will get taxed as if it's like actual income that's not always the case though some 401k plans offer different options and if one of those options is a roth a roth ira r o t h i can't spell r o t h um then that means that you're getting taxed on it now they're going to count it towards your taxes now, but then you won't have to pay taxes on it later. So there's different options. I would definitely talk to a financial advisor or somebody in your HR department just to see what it is that they have available and what it is that they would recommend. Um, but just know that in general, with a contribution-based plan, you have a lot more options. And hopefully, 
you got a lot out of this video if you did be sure to hit that like button be sure to check out my blog where I have tons of resources for you such as what we discussed today and you can find that at focusedfrugalfab.com and I hope you have a great day bye